Hello everybody and thank you for watching. In this video we'll show how we can convert Raspberry Pi into a NAS server using Open Media Vault and Samsung DeX will be used to set everything up. Let's begin. In this video we'll use Raspberry Pi 4, 32GB micro SD card and Galaxy Tab S6 will be my Samsung DeX device. And I'm using my NextDoc 2 laptop just to get the DeX picture going. First thing I need to get a SD card formatted and set it up with the Raspberry um, Raspberry and OS. So first thing, I'm just going to plug that into my USB-C hub. We need to go into settings and format. So for that to do, you need to search for settings, then search for storage, click on storage, click on the three dots at the top right hand corner and click advanced. That or step can be different depending on what kind what Android version you are using. Select the correct SD card you want to format and click format and accept and click format USB drive. This will take a couple of seconds to complete. Once completed, we can click done, done and close everything down. Now you need to go into Google Play Store and download the program called, called Raspberry Card Imager. I already have that downloaded, so I'm just going to search inside App Draw, Raspberry Card Imager, run that. At the top, I need to select which uh, Raspberry Pi I have, is Pi 4. Then I need to select Noob's Light. And then I need to select the which SD card I want to use to uh, get this Noob's Light uh, written in. I'm using you new slide because I'm going to use a wired connection to set everything up and I suggest to use that because it's going to speed up installation process and the loading files. So once everything is selected, I'm going to click right to SD card and click OK. This will take about a minute to complete. Once that is done, you need to close it, uh, click OK and close it, then search for settings again. Go into uh, search, click on storage, then three dots at top hand corner and then click advanced select mass storage and click unmount i'm doing that because my tab by six starts shouting at me because i'm taking sd card without unmounting first so when that is done i'm just gonna swap my samsung text to raspberry pi get the raspberry pi picture going on the next dog 2 and i'll come back i have my raspberry pi connected to next dog 2 now and it's starting first time so we're just gonna wait until this fully boots up into a noobs 3.5 and once that is done, we can start selecting which OS we need to install. Because my Raspberry Pi is connected using wire, I have a lot of options to pick from. I'm more interested in this one, which is Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32-bit. And it is a port of Debian with no desktop environment. That's all we need is a terminal, so this will do. I'm going to click Install and click Yes. This process will take about 5 to 6 minutes, and once that's done, I'll come back. Once Raspberry OS has been installed, the message will be showing up like OS installed successfully. Just click yes and wait for Raspberry Pi to restart. Once Raspberry Pi successfully restarted, you will be greeted with login terminal line. So username by default is Pi and the password by default is Raspberry. Once you logged in, if you type if config one word, you will be presented with IP address that this Raspberry Pi has. So mine is ending with 61. Now I need to turn SSH on. That to do is I need to type sudo raspi-config and inside here I need to choose option 3, option 2, click yes, click ok, go to finish and that's it and we have SSH turned on. Next we need to type sudo shutdown dash h space now to get Raspberry Pi turned off. Once Raspberry Pi is completely off, I'm going to swap Raspberry Pi back to my Samsung DeX and we're going to carry on setting up Open Media Vault. So I'm back in Samsung DeX. Next step, I'm just going to turn Raspberry Pi on by pressing the switch on my extension cable. So Raspberry Pi is starting. And while it's doing this starting process, you need to pick your SSH client. I'm going to use Juice SSH that you can find in Google Play Store for free. So inside my app draw, I'm going to write SSH. So this is the app I'm going to use. I'm going to click on it. And now I need to enter the IP address that I found inside the Raspbian terminal, which is ending with 61. So under quick connections, I'm going to type 192.168.178.61 semicolon 22 as a port number. I'm going to click OK. And now I need to select which username I need to use for this SSH connection. I'm going to click select one and click new. N nickname for this, I'm going to write pi space nas. Username will be pi. And a password is the same as inside the terminal will be raspberry. So if you click show password, here you go, Raspberry here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click yes, I'm gonna click OK. And now by the time I filled all these details, Raspberry Pi is fully started. And that's how I got this message that I need to verify connection. So right now I'm SSH'd into Raspberry Pi. I need to update the repositories and all the files by typing, can't even type properly. sudo app space uh, app dash get update. This will take about 30 seconds or so to complete, maybe even less. 
depending on the broadband speed and the SSD and micro SD card speed. So let's wait for this to finish. And that's it. So next one is sudo up get upgrade to upgrade all the files. And this will take about five to six minutes to complete. I have a message to agree with the, this um, um, to agree that I'm um, upgrade is going to write new files on my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to say Y for yes and press enter and just leave it running. Like I said, it's going to take about five minutes or so to complete. So leave it running and I'll come back when it's finished. Once upgrade is finished, I'll everything is done. No errors. That's good. So I'm going to just type clear to clear the, the screen. And now we need to paste one line command into a terminal to get open media vault installed. That line and uh, that command you will find inside Pi My Life Web website. I will leave a link to this article in description below. If I scroll down a bit, I'll find the wget command that I need to paste it in. I'm going to right click and select copy, go back into juice SSH, left click and hold to get the properties and press paste. And this will take about 20 minutes to complete. Once Open Media Vault installation is finished, you will be greeted with a message saying IP address may change and you could lose the connection if running the script via SSH. IP address will change and to find a new IP address, you can go and log into your home router and uh, connected devices, you will find Raspberry Pi with a new IP address, or you can go to Google Play Store and download the app called Thing and then run it, which will scan entire home network and will give you a list of all the devices that are connected to your home network and one of them will be Raspberry Pi. So get yourself a new IP address or find a new IP address that your Raspberry Pi is being selected or assigned to. I have my new IP address for my Raspberry Pi, so I need to enter that inside my um, Samsung Internet Browser, so which is 168, one, no, 192, 168, 178, 69, enter. And now I'll be greeted with the Open Media Vault login page. A default username is admin and the password is Open, open Media Vault. Once login, we are ready to set it up our NAS server. I'm gonna use SanDisk SSD, 240 gigabytes um, hard drive. For the reason being is it's very fast and it's small smallest external hard drive I have just because some of the things I will do it's gonna take longer if I'm gonna use one terabyte or more. So I'm just gonna connect that into my Raspberry Pi, which is connected here on the side. I'm just gonna plug that in. So once plugged in, I can expand the menu on the left by clicking the triangle and go into disks. And I should see my Samsung uh, SanDisk showing up. So I'm going to click on that and click wipe. I want to format this hard drive before using it with this NAS server. So I'm waiting for this to get wiped. So that's it. It's done. Click close. Next, we need to go into a file systems on the left. And now we need to partition or create the partition inside this hard drive. So I'm going to click create. I will create, select the hard drive I just formatted. Label, I'm going to type SSD to 40 GB. Make sure there's no spaces inside the label. And file system will leave by default as EXT4. I click OK and click Yes. And this process will take, depending on how big a hard drive you're connecting. With my 240 gigabytes, it will take about a minute and a half. With a one terabyte hard drive, for example, it can take up to 25 to 30 minutes. So wait for this to finish and uh, I'll come back when it's done. Creating partition has been completed. I'm going to click close and now we need to set up ourselves a shared folder. If I click on a shared folder, oh no, 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 to go back to file system. Sorry, you need to mount the hard drive first. So where's my SSD? Here we go. I need to click mount. Wait for this to happen. Then the confirmation message will show up at the top right hand corner. So wait for that to show up. Click apply, click yes. Wait for this to finish, and then we're gonna go and start creating a shared folder. This will take about a couple of seconds for, for all this process to finish. I can see already SSD has been mounted, it's 60.02 megabytes already been used, and under mounted it says yes. I'm just gonna wait for this message to uh, disappear, and then we can on setting up our shared folder. Click on a shared folder, click add, and now give it a name, I'm gonna type it SSD240. I click and select the hard drive I just created and under permissions, I'm going to say everyone read and write. I click save, wait for confirmation message to show up, click apply and click yes. So we do have our shared folder created. Next, we need to start Samba server. If I'm going to go on the left hand side, look for SMB, select on that, click enable and press save, wait for confirmation message to show up, click apply once it's there and then click yes. Once that is done, we click on the share at the top, click add. Select the folder that we just created, which is SSD240. And under public, I'm going to say guest allowed. I'm going to say yes. Wait for confirmation message to show up. Click apply and then press yes. And that's it. 
Open Media Vault server has been successfully set up on my Raspberry Pi. Once this is done, we can go and start finally using it for my Samsung DeX. That's it, that's done. I'm gonna click on my files, go down to network storage, click plus, network drives, wait for the scanning to finish, click on the Raspberry Pi, and then tick anonymous uh, is sign up because I'm allowing public access. I'm gonna call it Pi NAS and click add. And that's it, that's the folder we created. And inside here, I can start start creating folders and moving files into. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go, for example, into my images, click copy and just gonna move this all in here. And here we go. I have just created the DAS server using Raspberry Pi and all the setup was done on a Samsung DeX. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Don't forget there is a Samsung DeX subway group available for you to join. There is over 12,000 or so members right now. It's expanding very, very rapidly. Thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, by the way. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye.